it's summer officially i'm thinking about the beach and today we are going to do a valentine to the sea I group some of my sea treasures into a possible heart shape. So the first thing you'll want to do is fold a piece of paper in half and cut out a heart shape for your valentine. I tape mine down with a little bit of washi tape and then I draw around the heart. On my heart template that I've cut out, my rough, I quickly sketch out my design. Once I have my rough design, I carefully transfer it to the good watercolour paper. So this is a, a very imaginary sketch. You could throw in a mermaid or two, or a boat, or a wave pattern. So you will see that my sketch doesn't exactly match my finished drawing, but that's okay. And what you want to look for is a, a variety of shapes and a variety of sizes so that you've got large, medium, small, and leave some air. Don't make it too compressed and too full. Since I love the sea and I love blue and white, I am going for a non-realistic uh, all blue color palette. Uh, I'm right-handed, as you've probably noticed if you've been watching these videos. So I'm going to start in the upper left corner so that I don't put my hand through the wet paint. And I'm going to start with a sea anemone right here. I'm going to make my starfish a pale blue. And I choose a different blue for my scallop shells. We'll paint the crab next in this lovely minty green. We've got some pebbles next, so if you want, you can put in a little dab of candle wax on your pebbles. I always like to do this for contrast. It's just so much fun when you paint over and you see the wax suddenly appear. And while the pebble is still damp, I dot in a little bit of darker colour just to sort of mottle that surface a bit. My starfish is still wet, so I'm going to put in just a little bit more colour just on one side, just here and there, just to darken it and give it a little bit of dimension. Quick check to make sure the crab is dry and then we can paint in the other scholarship, the other scallop shell. I'm going to do my seahorse in this beautiful blue number 63 too. It's sort of a turquoisey blue. Next, we'll put in the coral. And I'm going to finish with one of my favorite sea urchins. And I'm going to do one view on the side and one view looking down. Before you go on to the next stage, you need to be absolutely sure everything is dry. So just test it gently. And then I like to erase any of my pencil guidelines, although I keep the heart shape. So now we have a nice balance of shapes and we have some open spaces. We can fill those in later, but now we'll go on to the next stage. So now mixing my cobalt blue with indigo, I'm going to put in just a little bit of a darker touch here and there to give my objects more shape. So I'm using a brush with a good point and I always just check on extra paper and knock off a little bit of extra paint so that I don't get a big blob, but I have a nice fine line. And once you've got the darks on, I would suggest walking away, taking a break and coming back before we add the white. Uh, when you come back from your mini break, you want to take a critical look at your heart and decide if you've got 
too many gaps or too many empty spaces and if you want to fill them in. I feel as if I want to strengthen the heart shape idea down here so I'm going to add a couple of little fish and I'm going to push them right up against the side of the heart. So I'm painting in a little almond shape and giving them a little bit of a tail. And I'll give this guy a fin at the top too. And then I'll just let it dry. And you'll see how nicely these two little fish complement each other and just sort of define that bottom shape. Up here, I'm going to insert a couple of small extra starfish. I'm going to put a couple of fish over here. One coming in from one side and the other from the other. And basically, I do an almond shape and then I add a tail. I'm going to pull my coral up just to fill in this space over here and finally two more almond shaped fish coming down at the top and now for the white details and my trusty Doc Martens Make sure your brush is very clean before you start. So the sea urchins are a good place to start and we'll put in our little white dots coming up toward the center. And you can finish off with white details wherever you wish. Again, at this stage, I would suggest walking away and taking a quick break and then coming back and seeing if you feel you want to add anything extra. If when you come back and you feel you do, you can add just some tiny little circles very gently just in a couple of places, just to fill out your heart. If you want to, at the end, you can define your heart shape or you can simply erase it and let the eye fill it in. It's up to you. But here is your beautiful Valentine to the sea. I hope you enjoy this project. I think it's really fun. There are so many different ways you can take it and I can't wait to see what you do.